my beautiful people and welcome back and hello if you are new here I am doing a little bit of a different video than a vlog for a change <laughs> finally November's Illumicrate box has come and I'm going to sit and unbox it with you guys please excuse the mess that is behind here because it's just a mess in a situation but the library is being rejuvenated so it gets worse before it gets better so just excuse that and excuse this but we are going to get into this I vaguely remember what the book is I think Catherine told me what it was and I've already forgotten what it was and I called it something totally different so let's get in to the box now if you've been here before I am terrible at getting into these boxes so just bear with while I fiddle about with sellotape and try and get it out I have no idea what the bookish items are this month. I can't even remember what the fandoms are. Just going to grab my scissors because I'm failing miserably. That was so much easier. Why don't I just do this all the time? Because that would be too easy. Way too easy. So let's delve in. God, I still can't open it. My goodness. Right, so November is some kind of monster. Firstly, I can see a little tea, like, what are these called? Like a tea caddy? Ooh, that is really beautiful. I just bought one of these on Vinted. I can't remember what one it was but I bought one because I've wanted one of these for ages I don't know what I'm gonna collect in them or put in them I'm probably not gonna put tea in them because I've got that whole system in my kitchen but I just love these I feel like with the lid off these would be brilliant pen pots just possibly what fandom is this from so the Monster Inside Tea Tin is designed by Shirley Jackson. Store your favourite tea in this tea, tea tin inspired by the only by all the monsters families in Only a Monster by Vanessa Lynn. There we go. So that is this one. I also just slightly spoiled myself of what else is in the box. So that's incredibly sad. But it is what it is. Let's just dump this on the floor and we'll get that into the recycling in a bit. This is a sword replica. I'm not sure how everybody feels about sword replicas, but I'm not a massive fan of them. I don't know what to do with them. So Illumicrate do do these. I've had another one. I can't remember what fandom that was from. I want to say Nevernight. Um, but this one, I mean, they're really pretty. They're really nicely made and they're really heavy, but I just don't know what to do with them. It's a little bit pointy. <laughs> so, I mean, I could display them on my bookcases, but I don't really... I don't really know what to do with them. Pop in the comments what you guys do with these replicas because I'm just really unsure what to do with them. Um, but they, I mean, they are pretty and they're really well made and I can't get it back into its bubble wrap situation. And I love the little pouches that they come in as well. So that's something. Um, this replica is Find your inner hero with this replica of the Lost Sword from Priory of the Orange Tree by Samantha Shannon. Priory of the Orange Tree is one of those books that sat on my shelf, lived there, looked pretty, looked beautiful. No, I'm probably going to really enjoy that book, but the size of it just terrifies me, so I never get round to it. Anybody else have Priory on the bookshelf and have exactly the same problem? Or is it just me? I would like to know. <laughs> uh, this looks like a scarf of some description. Which, I must say, a scarf is quite a cool little thing to put in a book box. It's not something that usually kind of happens. Ooh, it's really soft as well. So it's like green and it's got kind of like, I don't know, forestry, some birds. Um, It's like a double, a double scarf. Is it a scarf or is it a blanket? Oh, I don't know. Little, little scarf. That's obviously not how you wear it, but I'm just trying to model it in a way to make you see it as a scarf <laughs> so this is frozen wilderness scarf invoke your second sight like Vasya 
in the Winter Night Trilogy by Kat and Arden with a scarf. Perfect for the cold months ahead. I mean, I do really like it. It'll go quite well with, I've got like a burnt orange big winter jacket. This would go quite well with it with the green. So I don't hate it. It's uh, nice and cozy. It's something different in a book box, which is what I like. I hate when it's the same old, same old or stuff that you're just never gonna bloody use. Then we've got, I love this. This is a tote bag and it has got the Sholomance. It's very, it's giving me very gothic, dark academia vibes. And I like a little bit of gothic and dark academia vibes. I cannot speak today. Anybody else get this sometimes when they're they're trying to do something and they just can't speak. Um, this is Get Away to Freedom tote bag. Get ready for the final fight by packing your boots in the tote bag inspired by a deadly education by Naomi Novik. Novik? Novik. I actually saw a deadly education in Waterstones today and I really liked the cover. And I was like, I recognise the author but don't really know what it's about. Damn, now I wish I bought it. Well, I'm gonna have to have a little looky online and maybe pick myself that up. This is the paper craft kit that we were meant to get last uh, month. Uh, it's designed by Rosie Thorne, who is the same person that does the really cool uh, little mugs. Uh, this print is based on Ninth House by Lee Bardugo. And I think you just kind of assemble the pieces put them together, mount them on a piece of cardboard and then ta-da. I am not overly massively fond of the paper craft. It's something that I'm not going to do. I'm just not interested in it. I know there's quite a lot of other people out there that are just not really massively into it either. But I mean, the artwork is absolutely beautiful. And if it's your thing, it's your thing. It's just really not my thing. And I know I'm not going to sit there and fiddle with little bits of paper and make that pretty picture. So I'd probably just display it like this because that's what it looks like so it, not all is lost but that is probably how I will display it because I will never make it just putting that putting that out there now and then we have got the yellow sack oh I'm so sorry I moved you guys there I'm just trying to put the box down I love these yellow sacks and the book inside for November is dun, 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 the illuminaries by susan denard denard oh on this channel we pronounce everything wrong so please don't come at me so this is the cover how amazing is this look at these edges absolutely love it what does the naked hard cover look like the end pages look not too bad Oh my god. Absolutely stunning. Love it. Absolutely love it. Illumicrate just seem to blow out the park sometimes with their special editions and this is no exception. This could possibly be one of my favourite covers that I've got in one of the book boxes. Now I'm sure I say that like every couple of book boxes but this one there's just something about the aesthetic of this one. It's right up my street. It's got total dark academia vibes. It's shiny. The colour scheme is really nice. I really like the contrast with the orange on the on the pages. Big fan and maybe one day I will read this book because I am pretty terrible. I have not read any of my Lumicrate books yet not one that is going to be on my agenda for next year is to actually start using them uh well not using them but actually reading them i have also decided that from january january will be the last illuminate box i will be getting for a little while um i was going to be cancelling in december and then kind of final off finaling off the year like that but then i discovered that there's going to be a saga item in january so i am having to postpone it and wait and guaranteed in february there'll be something else i want and it's just going to continue because a luma crate keep grabbing me in like that but this box i would give this box maybe a seven out of ten the book is beautiful i liked the scarf the sword replica not a massive fan the paper craft not a massive fan but that was technically for last month's box and then what was the other item we got? 
was that the only items we got this month so the paper oh the tote bag absolutely love the tote bag i will 100 percent be using that tote bags are brilliant for books for for literally anything going backwards and forwards to daniel's house i can put like books my switch everything in that instead of carrying it in my backpack all the time so that is perfect and it's dark academia love it and yes where is my little card to find out what next month's theme is so december's theme is better together our december theme is better together shall we make a bargain me and you whether that's a personal or professional agreement we are always better together our december book is a standalone adult science fiction book uh, a spaceship mourning the death of her spouse who was the leader of their private fleet makes a deal with a captured human an arranged marriage occurs with the intent of using the marriage as a cover for an investigation into the previous leader's death. Between infighting amongst the pirate fleets and as a war against pi piracy brews, will they uncover the truth? And will they develop true feelings while they do? Lesbian space pirates in a Vietnamese-inspired galactic empire. Yes, please. We love the dynamic between the two main characters and the beautiful writing. That sounds really fascinating and quite up my street. This book comes with a signed book plate from the author and features all exclusive cover variant artwork and papers and foil embossing on the hardback, ombre sprayed edges, bound in author letter. Ooh. Our featured fandoms are The Song of Achilles, The Jasmine Throne and an officially licensed Crescent City item. There's also a multi-fandom item perfect for the new year and this box includes our last Rosie Thorn mug of the year. Yes, we are getting a mug next month. I am so excited. The mugs are one of my favourites. <laughs> Anybody else just love the Rosie Thorn mugs? They're so pretty. This has been quite a long Illumicrate unboxing. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. What do you guys think of this month's items? Is there certain things in here that you're just not a massive fan of? Is there things that you maybe would really like that you don't subscribe to Illumicrate? Um, if you're ever thinking of subscribing to Illumicrate, I would say yes, do it just for the bookish items alone and for the beautiful covers and the additions that you do get in this box. It's $34.99, I believe, a month, including your postage. And it comes to your house every month. And it's usually got about four or five bookish items and the book itself. If this is something you're interested in, you have to join a waiting list, unfortunately, because there are so many people that are waiting to join this. But Illumicrate's waiting list does take not as long as other book boxes um, lists to come down. So you probably will get an invite, maybe two or months max um but it is 100 percent worth it and if it's something you're thinking of doing i would strongly suggest it even try it out for three months and see how you get on but i have talked far enough thank you guys so much for watching today and i will see you all same time same place hopefully next month with december's box i hope you all have a lovely day and i will see you again next time bye <laughs>